guys, so I'm here today with a kitchen experiment for us all. Have you ever wondered what would happen when you fry a banana? Like, has it thought ever occurred to you? Some of the times when I make stuff for some of my foreigner friends, they ask me, is that a banana? And I'm like, no, that's a plantain. But they go, it looks like a banana. Can't you fry a banana? Can you fry a banana? So there was a particular day I had a big debate with someone and I'm like, no, you can't fry a banana. It won't come out right. But he was like, if a banana is in the same family as a plantain, why shouldn't it come out right? And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to give this a test and then come back and tell you what my test would be right and so i decided that i'm going to film this video so that we can all see what happens when you choose to fry a banana hmm. i'm not so sure what's going to happen but i'm keeping my fingers crossed for this one it's an experiment so let's get right into it shall we <laughs> understand why some people would be a little bit confused as to whether or not you would get the same result from frying a plantain and a banana because they actually look kind of alike and I think they're in the same family so what I'm just going to do now is I will just peel the plantains up like you sorry the bananas up like you would a plantain I think I'm just gonna do this experiment with two bananas I don't want to waste my banana because just in case it doesn't come out right <laughs> right because I'm actually a little bit skeptical all right, then I'll just cut it up like you would usually would cut your, your plantains. Before we go on with the video, right, just go into the, in the comment section and let me know if you think that this would actually come out. Let me know what, let me know what you think. Do you think it will come out looking like plantains? Do you think it will, just let me know what you think before we actually get to the end of the video, okay? All right, so I have um, cut up all of my bananas now. So I would usually salt my banana. I can't cut banana and not eat one, please. <laughs> I would usually salt my plantain, so I'm just gonna go ahead and salt the banana as well, and then give it a quick toss. Then over here on the stove top, I already have my oil heating up. Let's just fry this up and see what happens. Fingers crossed. Moment of truth, guys. <laughs> Moment of truth. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna gently drop each banana piece. That sizzle! <laughs> it actually looks like plantains, if I'm being honest. But it's not as thick as plantains. I think that's just the only difference sizzling nicely like plantains would let's see if it caramelizes <laughs> because i think that's what actually makes plantain plantain it caramelizes with this really nice deep dark brown color that just makes it very unique okay so in order not to overcrowd the pan i think that's all i'm going to put i can notice here that it's starting to turn a little bit of um starting to have a very yellowish color like some of them are starting to do that so let's just give it some time and then see what happens um, afterwards I'll grab a fork real quick it's not as thick as plantains that's definitely one thing I'm observing so far it's actually frying nicely let's see and it smells amazing as well <laughs> let's see what happens man I don't know why this looks so funny to me and why I never actually thought of frying and um, bananas before like okay one thing I noticed is that it's becoming very soft real quick and it's starting to break apart so it doesn't hold as much as plantains would that's why I said it's not as thick in texture as plantain so you can see that it's starting to break apart I know that there's a dessert recipe that's made from bananas where you just pan sear the bananas in a little bit of oil and then you top it with some ice cream and caramel sauce or something like that. I know that it's something that I've eaten before but I don't know how they actually um, caramelized the bananas. I don't know if they put it in oil. I'm not so sure what happens but I know that I've eaten something like that before. So let's just give this some time. I can see that it's becoming very soggy and very soft which you do not get with plantains but let's keep going i'll give this another five minutes 
if it doesn't start to caramelize then I'm, I'm like nah this experiment is a total fail and then we can all agree that bananas are not plantains and you cannot fry your bananas but let's just keep our fingers crossed we're almost there okay oh 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 guys it's actually caramelizing <gasps> look at that <laughs> can you see that it's actually starting to caramelize oh my god <laughs> well it should caramelize because it has sugar in it but i didn't think it was going to turn brown this one is already starting to caramelize nicely the other ones are not caramelized yet let's just give it time i think this might actually work <laughs> so this is about five minutes into frying the first batch and um it's starting to brown slightly but not not really like and it's getting very soggy and mushy real fast like it's soaking up a lot of oil um i'm not so sure about this one now but i'm just gonna keep going just to see at whether it ever caramelizes by caramelizing i mean like whether it ever becomes dark brown okay so but i can see that it's you can see it's very soft in the pan and it's soaking up a lot of oil like doesn't really look good at all soaking up too much oil it's too soggy like i think it doesn't have a lot of um carb carbohydrates in it that holds it together there's something that there's something about plantain that holds it together that gives it that texture so that it doesn't break apart when you put it in the oil like this one is like you know when you have overripe plantains like the very soft soft plantains that's what that's what this one is giving me like the ugh, i don't know how to explain it i hope i'm explaining it correctly but my these bananas were very firm and still it's giving me that very overripe soggy soft plantain vibes like i don't think it i don't think i would ever want to fry my bananas i don't think so plus it's taking so much time it's browning it's browning but it's taking so much time to brown and it's stressing me out like at this point i think i would have fried like three batches of plantains already and this is still the first batch frying but let's keep going it's an experiment so this one is this ones have really browned the ones on this side have really browned nicely let's keep going let's see what happens guys don't lose hope let's not lose hope just for those who don't have access to bananas i'm oh, sorry for those who don't have access to plantains and i i hear plantains are really popular all around the world but in some countries plantains are pure gold i remember i was in south africa just about a month ago and then um it was literally very difficult to find plantains and even when you find them they were either frozen or very very expensive so in south africa for example plantains are pure gold oh, oh look look this one browned really quickly okay 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 it's browning it's browning it's browning like okay <laughs> it's browning and i like it let's just give it more time i love experiments they actually make me so happy okay so you can see it's actually browning just in case you're in a region where you don't have um, access to plantains or plantains are quite pricey and you have bananas i think bananas are the next best thing if you want to have that um, experience of eating plantains this one's a browning nicely and I actually like it it's starting to look like plantains now okay I just hope it tastes like plantains okay so I think at, at this point I'm gonna take out the ones that have browned just gonna only thing I really don't like about this is that it's it's soggy up real fast yeah okay you have to handle it with a lot of care you can see that it's nice and golden brown I think this time I'm just gonna take it out with the fork just so that it doesn't mesh up because it's quite it's a little bit soft so guys this is the final piece of plantain out and first of all i'm gonna let you guys be the judge of the look the color of things did it come out like plantains 
I think it did. I think it caramelized nicely. But the one thing I'm going to say is it's not as fine or as beautiful as plantains when you fry them and it shrinks. It shrinks very well. And then of course it took longer time. It took a longer time to fry up. So you require a lot of patience to fry this up. So the next thing that we're going to do is give it a taste to see if it actually tastes like plantain. But did it caramelize like plantain would? It definitely did brown nicely, but um, it doesn't look as fine. It doesn't feel as fine. And then I think it also soaked up quite a lot of oil as well. Like it's just giving me overripe plantain vibes. Like literally that's what it's giving me right now. But um, the look, let's see what it tastes like, okay? So I'm just gonna take one real quick. Fingers crossed. Mm. Mm. First of all, the one thing I absolutely like about this is that it has a little bit of a crunchy exterior, like a crispy exterior. That's one thing I love. Mm. It does, it definitely does. Even though I can still see some of the oil, like it's a little bit oily, but does it taste like plantains? It does taste like plantains, actually. <laughs> it does taste like plantains, but it's not as thick as plantains. Now, this is not because of the cuts. I ensure that I cut it as thick as I would usually would cut my plantains, but still it shrinks. So it's not as thick as plantains but it definitely does taste like plantain. So just in case you are in a region where plantain is so expensive or you can lay your hands on it, I think that bananas is the next best thing. But what you need to keep in mind is that you have a lot of patience. So if it will take plantains two to three minutes to brown or caramelize nicely, it will take bananas double the time. So let's say six to seven minutes. And then of course it will soak up a little bit of oil but trust me, it will give you plantain vibes. You don't even know the difference. I promise. I like this. I think I like it. It definitely will pass as plantains. So yeah, <laughs> experiment all done. The big question is, can you use plantains? Oh, sorry. Can you use bananas as a substitute for plantains? The answer is yes and no. It depends on you. But if you are in a place where plantains are scarce, you definitely should try using bananas and you will come out loving it. So it's safe to say that this experiment was a win. I might do other experiments in the future just so that we can just set the record straight for some of this food once and for all. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, it's me, the Queen of Fun and Fast Cooking, signing out right now. Take care, guys.